Think of it like this. You are the dot. The dot to a billion piece puzzle. And while you may feel insignificant at times, let me assure you and remind you, you are significant. You are beyond extraordinary. And you have been blessed with the outmost wonderful gift. The gift of life. The gift of creation. The gift of compassion. The gift of speech. And the gift of sight. You can be whatever you want to be in this world. And like a puzzle, it can never be whole without every piece. You are the universe as the universe is you. You may think there's a destination we all ought to arrive at, but as the truth will have it, whatever that is, the journey is in fact more important than the final destination. Because your greatest lesson will be learnt for the struggles of your journey, by the time you reach your destination, you would have already suffered, endured, and learnt a lot of new lessons you'll take with you and pass it on to your future generations. Now. Let's do some thinking. Let's look at people, people that reach the age of retirement, who have lived the majority of their life in a box, who go to bed in a box, wake up in a box, and eventually die in a box. I'm referring to the life of comfortability and mediocrity. I'm talking about the kind of life that is purely for the purpose of sustaining the need to live rather than living for something greater than just existing. Now these people who make it to retirement when they're 65 or 70, they think they can finally rest and have everything that have in fact missed the whole point of life all along. You see, life isn't purely about just existing. Life is about living for something, having a purpose, creating something beyond your lifetime that will live on. Because there is a huge difference between being alive and living. To be alive is to be stagnant. It's to let the current of the waves drag you through the rhythms and motions as you hold your breath. It's standing still on the escalator that perpetually moves upwards. It's letting people pull you towards the finish line, your body flopping unconsciously against the ground. Living is something completely different. Living is taking someone's breath away, losing your breath at moments and forgetting to breathe. It's almost the opposite of being alive, because living will always be closer to death. Living is refusing to let the rhythms of life drown you into submission. Living is never missing a moment. It's screaming in agony, gasping for breath. It's laughing until you can't catch your breath. It's crying until you'd rather just never breathe again. It's the feeling that everything could end in a moment and you'd be ready for it. Living isn't about preserving your breaths, counting them, watching them go in and out. It's about forgetting to breathe, delving into passions and opportunities, swimming against the current and almost drowning. Living is what you do with those breaths, those moments, it's how you make your own path, dance because there's no other way to express yourself and experience heartbreak. It's how you fight with your lovers, shouting because words are failing you and chasing your dreams until you're nothing but a wrinkled, exhausted reflection of who you used to be. Sacrificing your happiness for others and losing yourself in a guitar solo. It's painting until you forget your sorrows. Having meaningless conversations to forget the sting of a broken heart and loving every single goddamn bite of that red velvet cupcake. It's burning out and falling down. It's failing and fighting back. It's running until you're out of breath and passing out. It's being wild and untamed. It's never stopping, always looking, and never be complacent. So now I turn to you. Are you really just alive or are you truly living?